Then she sold out tours around the world and perform with music legends like Van Morrison, Bono and Ronnie Wood. Yes, but now Amada May is adding another string to her bow as she makes her acting debut in the long-awaited sequel of Fisherman's Friends. <laughs> Imelda, that looked amazing. Yeah. Yes. Where was that? In Cornwall, Port Isaac, and the cinematography is just stunning. It's shot so beautifully, isn't it? Very beautiful. It's like a, a love story to, to Port Isaac, to mm -hmm. Cornwall. It's just... You'll fall in love with the place. So. Absolutely. I yeah. did. Yeah, I bet you did. I bet you did. Now, I mean, congratulations, because this is a completely... This is a completely new route for you, right? A completely new, new path. Mm. How have you found it? I love it. I absolutely love it, and I want to do more, and I'm doing a bit more. Good. Yay, yes. there you go. <laughs> uh, all right, well, 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 let's just stay right there, then. Is there any... any the little bit more, is there anything you can tell us about? No. Nope. All right, fair enough. <laughs> You're not strong th Stormtrooper number five in the new Star Wars trilogy? No, right? no, like that? no, right. no, no. So, Fish oh, hey, so well done. Oh. Fisherman's Friends, um, obviously, this is the sequel. This is, you know, yes. this is what you're starring in. Were you a fan of the first film? Yes, I thought it was great. But this movie is... I'm not going to say it's even better, because the last one was fab, mm -hmm. but it's a perfect progression. It, it, it's kind of like second album syndrome, you know? You yeah. put an album and then the second one has to be, like, match it and top mm -hmm. it, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think this one does that because it's full of... It's feel-good, but it's also full of heart. I mean, there's proper heart and soul to this movie, which will have you weeping and then more and laughing and going home on a high. It has everything. And I'm not just saying that. I, I'm not good at lying. <laughs> <laughs> well, well it, it's an obvious question, but and there are significant differences uh, in the arts of, of, of performing as mm -hmm. a musician, but then performing as an actor. Mm. But for you personally, what was the key differences? What were the major differences? Um, I mean, being on location, being surrounded by wonderful people, and I have to, before we go any further, I have to say thank you to um, Meg Mystery and Nick Moorcroft, the, the directors, for taking a chance on me. And uh, I auditioned and I got through the audition and they really took a chance, they were lovely. And James Purefoy just minded me. And, Skipped you up. Yeah, and he really directed me, like he really, um, uh, he, he, he guided me when right. I, where I needed it. And, uh, and Maggie Steed and Dave John, everybody was just, it was such a good vibe that the fish, so this movie is based on a true story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of weird that the, 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 the Fisherman's Friends, the, the band, the singing group, um, who actually did go to Glastonbury, who I was with, Glas I, I sang with in Glastonbury um, this year, um, they're in the movie. And oh then we all became friends with them. So we're standing... There you go, that's you. Look that's at that. that. <laughs> yeah, so, and, and so then the actors and the, and the singers and the, and the families all became... My daughter, Violet, hello, Violet. <laughs> um, my daughter was there. And, we just kind of became this one big community. And he couldn't tell who was in the movie and who was in the band yeah. anymore. <laughs> yeah. who was friends. Who's my family? It was just... <laughs> but that's what you want, Man. right? When you're, and we always say that here, it's a real this morning family vibe, yeah. right? Yeah. That's but what you want when you're, yeah. and particularly yourself going into a new venture and something that you would maybe be a little bit apprehensive about. If you can have yeah. that community family vibe, yeah. then that's, I suppose, when you're going to deliver your best work, right? Yeah, yeah so right. Yeah, totally right. It's exactly the way it was. And you just, I felt comfortable. I felt at home. I felt loved. And I loved them. And it was just, I think that all comes through within the movie. Mm -hmm. Such a supportive um, bunch of people. And we were singing songs, looking over, you know, this huge bay. And because of lockdown, it meant we had to go outside. And I right. think that gave so much more to the movie. So we're, we're sitting, looking over these beautiful bays and managed to get the best weather we could have hoped for. And then there's a, there's a thing where we were supposed to, you know, be emotional. I couldn't stop the tears running. I was, yeah. They were trying to patch me up because it was just so overwhelmingly gorgeous oh. and beautiful and lovely. We kind of take it for granted, I don't we? we? You know, we were talking earlier on about staying in the UK because of the cost of living crisis. But when you, when you realise that we do have some of the most beautiful yeah. locations in the world around the British Isles, 
you kind of think, why do we go? Away? Why do we do that? Why do we go to Tenerife and have an English breakfast? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And also, we often do well, it you the... might do that. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, well, you do you know, your business. I want to taste the local food. <laughs> that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. But, you know, it, we, it's that's, and that's right. one we, of the we, things we that we do. We tend to get on a plane find an Irish pub when the UK is at its best, don't we? We all hop over on our summer holidays when the weather's the best here that it's ever going to be. We all go on a plane somewhere else. Well, in Ireland, I'm obviously I'm Irish. I'd be all around Ireland, and when you were talking about the best weather. I mean, if it's 25 degrees, everybody's stripping off and it's still <laughs> lashing rain. He's still there, but I mean, we're, 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 we are so lucky. This mass migration, because I'm on tour at the moment, mm -hmm. and this to watch the airports, and we're in the middle of it with all our gear, and um, to try to watch this mass migration, because it's people from, you know, from Spain and France coming to where somebody's just left for It's bonkers, but yeah. I don't know. Do you love touring? Do. I love touring, well, yeah. Well, you paused then. <laughs> I love, well, I paused because we're having to do this stupid half six in the morning flights just in case they cancel. So at the moment, oh, right. okay. at the minute, yeah. yeah. Logistically, it's a bit of a yeah. nightmare, but actual being on stage and yeah, performing, I love that's it. in your bones, right? I love, it's in my bones. Yeah. I can't help but do that. And I, I just love, love uh, the camaraderie of everyone being together. And so, so obviously you're on tour now, and that's obviously originally what we know you for. Acting is, mm. is a new venture, which you've obviously taken to like a duck to water. You're already on to the next thing that you can't tell us too much about at the minute. But writing poetry, I know, is also something that you're, mm. that you're really yeah. into. Yeah, I, I write poetry all the time, and I put out a book called A Lick and a Promise, mm -hmm. and it keeps flying off the shelves, because we only released a few thinking, I don't know if many people would be into it, and it just keeps flying out there, which is lovely, because I'm a massive poetry fan, always have been, since my dad read poetry to us as bedtime oh. stories. But whether it's acting, or whether it's gigging and singing, or writing poetry, or, you know, writing songs, it's all storytelling. Mm. Yeah, it's all coming from it's, that creative space, isn't it? It's connecting. It's connecting mm -hmm. with you, it's connecting with you, and then it, it's, it's finding the, the similarities in each of us, where we go through the same stuff. And that's where you connect with each other when you're truthful yeah. and honest about something. You go, do you know what? I've been there and it's all about just telling a story. Mm -hmm. and do you carry a notepad? Do you make notes when you see things? Like, if, let's say you're at the airport and you're delayed and, and there's lots of things yeah. going on and your surroundings are changing constantly because, like you say, people are coming and going. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you make little notes and say, Always. Oh, I like that, do you? On the back of every piece of paper, it drives everyone mad on receipts and then <gasps> I'm stuffing them in your bag. And then, <laughs> yeah, and, and I bring a, my carry-on is books and notepads and it's just so heavy. You know, everybody else has all, you know, their the clothes and I'm like, it's just a bag of books. She's got a library on board. <laughs> yeah, a lot of pens. Yeah. You have honestly the most calming voice. I'm sat here listening to you like this. Oh, thank yes, you very really, much. really, really. So if I'm staring at you odd, it's just because I'm very chill. <laughs> and what's happened? It's a when, lovely vibe on this show. It's like, good, isn't it? When's yeah. Fisherman's Friends uh, the sequel out? When's it out? Oh, August the 19th. I forgot that bit. Yeah, August the 19th. It's out all over the place. And uh, we're doing a premiere next week in Cornwall. Mm. And um, my dad can't go to it. So I'm going to have a premiere myself in Ireland on August the 19th in Dublin, and uh, I think we're just going to go to the local cinema in full ball gowns and tuxes. Oh, yeah. perfect. There yeah. you go. You'll have, you'll have such a good night. Love you will, that. you will. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much. Good luck with it all, and thank can't you. wait to see you in more. Thank you yeah. very much. Very I'm intrigued as to what the next project is. I know. We've tried to push it a couple of times. Yeah. It's not happening. I know, it's not, it's not happening. happening. <laughs> She's no. good. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much.